Do you want to be able to create surveys and questionnaires and analyze the results in seconds using Microsoft Forms and Copilot? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work team. And today I'm going to be continuing my Copilot video series uh, by showing you how you can combine Copilot and Microsoft Forms to create forms, uh, surveys, questionnaires, all registrations, all of those really, really easily just using natural language and even be able to analyze the results using a little bit of Copilot in Excel really effortlessly um, and just makes your life so much easier. So let's dig in and have a look at this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by going to forms.office.com and go to the forms website. Okay, so you're probably familiar with this already. So I'm just going to go straight into here and go to new form. Okay, just give that a second. And because I've got a co-pilot license, so it does have an additional license, I've got this uh, this box up here at the top, which is draft with co-pilot. Now I could close that if I want, but there's kind of all these pre-made ones like feedback, get feedback from customers, feedback from students are great uh, for evaluating course materials, get feedback from event attendees. Then we've got registration ones, so register for an employee training session, for a webinar training session, or register membership dues. Then we've got another category here, which is research. So research customer feedback about an online bookstore or user research to understand market trends and competitors and things like this, or data about customer preferences, um, or RSVP. So joining the jigsaw puzzle competition or a, a party with food and drink, or a business event. And these change, so every time you go in, you get different ones here, but it, these four categories are the same. So I'm gonna go for that business event, and you can see that it's put it down. Now I'm not gonna change anything at all here. I could write more in here, but I'm just gonna go and click generate. And you can see here, it just takes a few seconds. And if you used forms before, it was already really clever. So it used to make questions, suggestions for you, but this is next level here. So there's my, uh, there's my form, it's ready to go. So. Uh, got the header, what's your name, email address, job title, there's not very many there, what industry are you in, how did you hear about our event, what are you hoping to gain, okay, so that's free form, and then on a scale of one to five, how interested are you, and which topics would you like to see covered, what's your availability, and uh, things like this, so, okay, so I'm going to use this box here just to fine tune it, so I'm going to add more jobs here because there's not very many job titles so add more job titles and tailor it to it companies okay hit enter and it's just going to go through and it's going to add in there we go so you can see just as that popped up there we've got different so we've got we had the jobs that we had before but we've got new ones in there so that's looking good we've got things there so let's look at um, another one here so let's ask if they have oops ask if they have any food allergies or like dietary preferences and things like this because we might feed them if we're feeling kind so that question has that gone in there is do you have any food allergies and then lastly um, let's ask a question let's ask for their permission um, if we can send them marketing emails and things like this, because we want to make sure that we do this correctly. Um, so ask them if we can email in the future about marketing. It's important for GDPR. We just want to make sure that we follow the rules. So there we go. Again, just takes a few seconds. Same questions as we had before. And if I scroll down to the bottom, there it is. Can we email you in the future? So that looks good to me. So I'm going to click keep all uh, and it's built my form. So we can see here's my form. It's picked the right types of questions. It's given me uh, a nice look and feel there. It's got somebody like presenting. But if I wasn't happy with that, I could pick some of these uh, styles here. Um, and it's kind of used AI to try and pick those styles for me. So I might want to go with this one here. And I'm done now. So I could just click collect responses. Uh, and kind of tweak these things on who can respond, can you know generate a QR code or send out invitations or just take that link or even shorten those links there. So there's been loads of work on forms to make this much easier. 
So uh, that's my form and it's, it's ready to go there. So that was good. So that was using one of the pre-made prompts um, and I can see that now appears here. So let's look here and let's make another one, but let's work from scratch. Um, okay, so I'm gonna ignore these prompts. I'm just gonna go straight to the box. So what I wanna do is create a user feedback survey for users of Copilot for Microsoft 365. So this is a weekly survey, so we wanna make it to be snappy, to ask how they found Copilot, which of the Office apps they've used, Copilot with, and what their sentiment is and how much time they've estimated to have saved. So we've given it quite a lot of guidance there. Uh, but again, you can see there, we haven't had to put those options in. I've just written it in natural language and now it'll go through and do this. Oh, so I, I did have this a couple of times where you just needed to ask permission. It logged you back in, maybe lost the token or something like this. So I just clicked allow and it, it added me back in. Okay, that's my form done. So how satisfied am I? Ooh. So how satisfied am I? Which office apps have I used? How much time have I saved? And it's added a few other ones there. So like what's the best describes you? Would you recommend it? So I don't really want those. So let's remove some of these questions uh, from there and I'm gonna hit enter and it will go through now there you go, that's better. So it's now got rid of those ones that I didn't want. Okay, so that could, I, I just want a really short, snappy survey. Click keep all. Um, and then once I'm happy, I can kind of go through. So that's it, it's got me, it's given me some styling. So I could change that if I wanted, but you know, I'm, I'm happy with it as is. And then I can just, again, same as before, collect responses do whatever I need to do from there. Um, so, okay, so so just there you can see how easy it is to create uh, forms and, and surveys and things like that from scratch. But what about analyzing data? How can Copilot help us here? So I've got one here, which is a feedback form, and it's got about 17 responses, so not a lot. But I'm gonna click to open it in Excel and just show you how you can use Copilot in Excel to do that analysis for you really easily. So here's my data here, and actually it's really clever because the workbook will update automatically. And I'm gonna click the Copilot icon, it's just hanging off the edge of my uh, my toolbar here. So uh, data, so Copilot in Excel has to, so data has to be in an Excel table. So if it's not, you can click on insert and table. Oh, but I've already got a table here, so let me I'll click into the table, there we go. So now I'm just gonna do it really, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. So I'm gonna just say here, show me insights. Okay, and send that through. And what that will do is that will look at the data that I've got there and it'll understand that. Now just hide this at the top so we've got a bit more room. Cause I'm quite zoomed in to make it easy for the tutorial. So just give it a second or so for it to do, do what it needs to do because it needs to understand the context of those columns. So you can see here that it's already pulled up a grid here about like how likely you are to recommend it. Uh, just let it finish up, because it normally has multiple ones. So it's, it's actually told me here about an insight, but there's this button here that says add all insights to grid. So if I click on that, then you can see here, oh, look at that, just a few seconds. I've got some great visuals here. I've got those pivot tables at the bottom. Um, so it's really, really made it super easy for me to be able to do that analysis work. Um, and again, it's a few seconds. So, you know, however long this, this tutorial is running, about, about eight or nine minutes. So you can see there that I've designed two surveys and done some data analysis on a survey that I've already got out there. And it was literally just a few seconds. Um, that truly shows you how easy it is to do 
uh, using Copilot. So hopefully you found this useful. Please like and subscribe, share the videos, stick them on LinkedIn. Um, if you're using Copilot in your organization, I'd love to hear some of the use cases that you're using with. So please pop those in the comments. Um, if you haven't got Copilot, then uh, please just, you know, let's let's uh, think about how you could use it in your organization um, and maybe like tell me what might be interesting for you because that might help you to kind of go and build a business case and uh, have that conversation within your organization. But hopefully you found this uh, really useful. Have a look at some of my other Copilot videos, including the one about how you can use Copilot on the web if you don't have a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license. So if you don't have the license to be able to use the Office apps, don't worry because you can use Copilot for the web, which was previously called Bing Chat or Bing Chat Enterprise. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you again on another video.